Hi, we're going to talk about light, specifically light as a wave. So I have a wave right here. We're going to pretend like this is a light wave. Um, few things, uh, vocabulary words that you need to know. The top of the wave is called a crest, and the bottom of the wave is called the trough. Now, when I say a wave, that means the distance from one crest to the next adjacent crest or one trough to the next adjacent trough. That would be considered one wavelength. One wavelength. Uh, now, the wave wavelength has a special symbol. It is lambda. It's from the Greek alphabet, I'll spell that for you. So when I say lambda, I'm referring to wavelength. And the units are meters. We measure in meters. Now that's very important to keep that in your mind. So when we're talking about wavelength, I'm going up, down, back up. That's going to be wave, one wavelength. The amount of waves that we can fit in one second is called frequency. Frequency. Now frequency also has a symbol and it is called mu. Kind of like, looks like a fancy V or U. Also from the Greek alphabet. Um, and the unit on mu is, this is interesting, per second. So the way you say that is per second, per second. Um, in the English gravitational system, per second is abbreviated, or I should say, it's just called Hertz, HZ. When you see Hertz, always change it to per second. And here's the reason why. Why the units are so important. It is because C, which is the speed of light, speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now, if you're doing AP chemistry, when you take the test, they'll give you an AP reference, and on that, they will have the speed of light. I believe they put it as 2.98 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Um, so you'll want to use the number that they give you. Rounded, two sig figs, is 3.0. Um, check out that unit, meters per second. Now here's the cool thing. You're already familiar with the electromagnetic uh, spectrum that we have gamma rays all the way to radio waves. Now the gamma rays have very, very small wavelengths, teeny, teeny, tiny. From crest to crest, it can be one times 10 to the minus 15 meters. Wow, super small. Now the radio waves from crest to crest huge. They can be as big as a football field. They can be in the miles um, from crest down back up to crest. Huge. Um, here's the neat thing. The speed is the same for all radiation. So gamma to radio waves, they all have the same speed. That light will travel the same speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Um, now frequency. Think about this for just a second. Go back to gamma radiation. Gamma radiation, teeny, teeny, tiny, small waves. Those small waves, because they're so small, you can fit a lot in one second. So if you have a very um, small wavelength, so I'm going to do a different color for you here. Um, if we have a really small, so I'm going to do a down arrow to indicate small. If I have a very small wavelength, it means you can fit a ton of waves inside of that. You have a very high frequency. Notice these are indirectly related. As one goes down, the other one goes up. As you have a small wavelength, you have a really large frequency. Now the reverse is true. If you have a huge, a large wavelength, so the what the length of a football field, you can't fit very many of those waves in one second, which means you have a very low frequency. So this situation, a small wavelength, really high frequency, that would be your gamma radiation. A huge wavelength, can't fit very many in one second, low frequency, that's going to be your radio waves. Now, something else that I want to attach to this um, is light. So Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Oops, G. Biv. There we go. Okay, Roy G. Biv. Where light is associated with our, our frequencies. Um, red is on the same side as radio. Um, so I'm, if I was looking at the electromagnetic spectrum, 
radio red, and over here by the violet at the very, very end, it's closest, violet is closest to gamma radiation. So this is going to be something good for you to know. Red has the largest wavelength, lowest frequency, and violet has the smallest wavelength, highest frequency for visible light. So let's attach this right here. Um, on our red, this is going to be your very large wavelength and your small frequency, and the violet is going to be the very small wavelength and a large frequency. That will be worth knowing. That's worth knowing. Okay, so a little discussion right there on um, light as a wave. Good work.